guys, this is Christopher, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Sweep tool in FreeCAD. The Sweep tool I'll be using is the one from the Part Design Workbench, not the Part Workbench. They're a little bit different. Um, this is the one I'll be demonstrating now. So before you do anything, you need to create a body, and in the body you need to create a sketch. So we actually need two sketches when we're doing a sweep. I'm just going to put the first sketch here in the XZ plane. So this would be looking at our part from the front. And now I'm going to make my part. Now we have our part fully defined, um, but we're not ready to extrude yet because we still need a path for our sweep to follow. So if I close the sketch, um, you can see this is our part, and in instead of um, extruding straight forward or back or in a circle, we're going to extrude along a path that we set. But first we need to create the path. So I'm going to create another sketch. Um, Make sure you don't have your first sketch selected. Create another sketch, and this time it will be in the XY plane, looking down on our part. This way we can draw a profile around here for it to follow. So I'm going to draw that now. So now we have this sketch fully defined, our path sketch, and we're ready to make the extrude now. So when we close the sketch, um, you can see both of them are here, and let's go ahead and extrude. So you want to make sure that you don't have any sketches selected um, before you do the sweep, unless you um, know you can actually select the one your profile or your uh, 
your your first shape that you did. You can actually select that before you do the sweep. But I think it's simpler just to not select anything and then do that. Now it asks for your profile if you didn't already give the profile. Um, you can select which one you want here and hit OK. And then you want to select um, your path for it to go around. So this first um, one, the first sketch we did is now being extruded around the second sketch that we did. You can hit OK here and now you can see this part that we have here is um, it, it fit it to the path. So that would be how to add material using the path extrude. You can also do the same thing with the remove sweep extrude. So I'm going to demonstrate that as well. Um, I'm just going to cut a groove into this that goes along a little bit different path. But again, the first thing you need to do would be create a sketch and I'm going to put it in the same plane that I started in. And I'll make it a semicircle groove. Now we have the sketch fully defined, and we're ready to make the path. So I'm going to make the path follow this shape a little bit differently, um, because if it were the same path, then you could just put the semicircle into your add extrude. So with a new a new sketch in the xy plane. I'm going to do a similar path. Now it's a little bit hard to see what's going on here with the shape in the way. So if you close the sketch and click on our additive pipe here and press the spacebar, it'll hide it so that we can work in our sketch without being hindered by that.
Now we have the sketch fully defined, and we can go back to our additive pipe, press the spacebar again, and it'll show it. Um, we can see here's our path. Um, I guess I put one of the dimensions in wrong. I can go back and change that. This should be three and a half there. Um, now it starts and ends in the same place, but it takes a little bit of a different path along the way. So we're ready to do the extrude. This time I'm going to select my profile first and then do the remove sweep. And now it skips the page where we select our profile and we're ready to just click object and select our path. And hit OK. Now it removed this groove all the way along around the second profile that we made. So that is how you use both the additive and the removing sweep for um, making parts in the part design, workbench, and FreeCAD. I hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, please like and subscribe.